always say these videos is always going to be quick, but it never does. These videos is never quick. Maybe a little quick, but it never ain't. on everybody welcome back to another lockout men travels video in this video right here i want to just talk about mental aspect of things being a truck driver out here it's a lot of things that goes on in one's life being a truck driver is just about the loneliest part of the job you're, you're technically you're by yourself now some people like it some don't me, I mean, I can handle it. You gotta get used to it. Some people just can't take it. It's just worse to mind because you got so much stuff back at home to worry about. Now, if you're a young cat, you don't have no responsibilities and like to travel the world and all like that, then maybe this is the job for you. But if you're an older cat, such as myself, that has responsibilities, that has things that goes on in his life, well, it's kind of hard. Nobody said that this job was going to be easy, you know. A lot of jobs, it's not easy when you when come to think about it. It's just how you're going to handle the job when you get it. Look, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, you know, being a truck driver and being in this type of lifestyle, you know. Not only that... You gotta make sure that you, the truck, and the load is safe from out here, but you also got stuff that's on your mind that's going on back at the house. Some may not be in your control. Unfortunately, what you can't control is probably what has you a little bit stressed out out here. This job is stressful. This life is stressful. You can't have other problems to interfere with the job at hand. Because if it does, then it messes up the flow of everything. You won't be able to focus. You got too much on your mind. A lot of stuff that just, just keeps down the block. Mental, mental aspect is a big problem. Mental, mental aspect is, 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 is everywhere. Everybody gets depressed. Everybody has mental problems. Depression is a big, it's a big deal. Everybody experience it. I experience it. I experience it a lot, but it's the way you have to handle it is the is how you gonna is how you gonna make that experience wonderful i guess you can't let outside things interfere with what you're doing things or i should say bad things happen Gotta check the seal. Seal is good. It's always good to have somebody that you can trust. Somebody that you can that you can put your faith in to handle your affairs back at the house.
cannot be serious right now. I forgot to tell y'all where I was at. My bad, my bad. I am here at the Campbell's distribution here in Napoleon. This ain't my first time being here at Napoleon. This isn't the first time being here at Campbell's. Problem that I'm having with at this distribution center here in Napoleon. Let me show you. This right here is fucking ridiculous. You see how tight, tight that is? I can't, I, I can't even get, they, they get this thing jacked up so fucking high that I can't even get the fucking handle unhooked. You can't be serious. Un, this, this is ridiculous how high they got this, this trailer jacked up. So now what I got to do is hunt for, I might not have to hunt that far. Let me see. But yeah, I guess I do got to hunt. Now I got to hunt for a yard guy to come over pick this up for me so I can at least get the weight, which is 45,000 pounds, by the way, get this weight off these legs so I can raise up the landing gear. This is the mental shit I'm talking about. <laughs> this shit could make you go crazy right here. Hey, my cat. Hey, can I get you to come over around the way and lift the trailer up so I can get the uh, lays up? Yeah, go ahead. Go over there and wait, mate. I'll move over a little bit. All right, man. I appreciate it. We got to wait. I got to wait for old boy to come over here so he can uh, lift up this trailer right quick. It's ridiculous how they got, how they raised this so far high off the ground. So, a man right here got to get this trailer. So let me move it out the way. Can I get you to lift that trailer? This one right here, the JNR Sugar one. All the way up. We are ready to go. I forgot to tell you guys that where I was going, right? But my destination is here in Wisconsin in Toma over at the Walmart distribution. I ran out of hours. I'm shut down here at the mall. You know, stress and depression goes hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost, you can't have one without the other with uh, stress and depression. It was October of 2014 that I lost all hope. I was one of the world's most successful athletes. 18 gold medals. The All-American dream come true. But I was lost. I hadn't left my room in five days. I questioned whether I wanted to be alive anymore. There's a lot of it. While you out here on these uh, roads, you know, things happen at home that will probably bring you down. I have to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to stay focused. Sometimes if problems in your personal life gets too much of a burden while you out here driving, you're gonna have to at least pull over and do a, have a woosa moment. Woosa. Woosa. Woosa.
You know what I'm saying? Woosa. Woosa. Moment. Happiness is a virtue. That's my sanctuary right now. I gotta make sure that everything on the home front is on point. Everything on the home front got to be all right. And what I mean by that is that you have to have a good support system in place for that in order for it to work. You have to have a rock that will that that will handle your business and stuff like that while you out here on these roads. I understand it's going to be hard it, and it is going to be hard, but you just got to you, you just got to keep your mental right everybody is fighting the battle that that we know nothing about we know nothing about your battles that you're fighting personally it's always crazy when you hear about it on Facebook somebody is going through a thing truck driver loses his cool we drive these trucks every day and it's dangerous enough our job is dangerous you gotta be you, you, you gotta be focused your head gotta be in the game your head gotta be in the game. Here's my thing that I suggest to everybody. Not everybody can do this. Always be kind to one another. Always be kind to one another. This is a human issue. It's an everybody issue. It's, it's, it's everybody's issue with mental. A lot of us have it. Just stop for a second or two, just stop for a second or two to just give a smile. You know what I'm saying? Say hi. It really helps to take a deep breath, smile, look the toy in the eye, say hi, and be yourself. How you doing every once in a while? I know it's kind of hard for some people to do, and it's hard for some people to take. Say, hey, what's up? Hi, how you doing? And all like that. And the guy, girl, whoever look at you like you crazy and shit. Like, the fuck you talking to me for? It just gives that sensibility that, you know, maybe that person that you say hi or smile to, maybe that person might need it. Maybe that person had a bad day. Maybe something happened in his personal life that's all fucked up and shit. And here you go. Hey, how you doing there, buddy? How you doing? Hi. And all like that. And maybe that's all he needs is, is, is that to brighten up his, his or her day. Take a second to talk to somebody. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you see him over in the fuel island, if you see him in the truck stops or something like that, and, you know, maybe they, you know, going through something or something like that, take a second to talk to them. Pick their brain if you have to. Believe it or not, I'm going to tell you the truth. Believe it or not, us truck drivers, we like to talk. We like to talk. Believe me, we talk a lot on. Just think, you can save, you, you could probably save a life with just a simple act of kindness. You know that? You might just do that. I never told you guys this. But when I was in road service, <clears throat> I actually prevented a female from committing suicide over there on the 480 on the 480 bridge over in Cleveland. It was kind of funny because I was riding down the highway and I just happened to look over and I'm like, oh, what the hell? So I, I pulled over and ran back and showing below lo and behold the chick was on the other side literally on the other side of the fence now the 480 bridge ain't no joke <laughs> you it ain't no coming back once you jump off that bridge okay no coming back from that so i ran over there and i talked to her and she you know it was to the point that she said yo life ain't worth living no more I'm like, look, you don't have to do this, you know. I stayed with her. I talked to her until the ambulance came there and the fire department came there. And all she just needed was somebody to talk to, somebody to listen. That's all. That's all. So my thing is this, all right. If you need somebody to talk to and or you need somebody to listen, Believe me, 
I was there. Actually, I'm still there. You see what I'm saying? I'm a good listener. I'm a good listener. And I'm a good talker. I probably might listen more than I talk. Because a lot of people would just like somebody to hear their problems. So, here's my thing to you guys. If you ever want to talk, or if you ever need somebody to listen, by all means, hit me up. Alright? Lockoutmen at gmail.com. Lockout me in at IG. Hit me up in the uh, hit me up in the email for my phone number and or my Facebook, and I'll be happy to give it to you, so that you can call me up and just holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? If you need somebody to talk to, all right, call me up, and I'll be happy to talk to you guys. All right? Hey, look, hey. It's lockout me. Y'all know what's up. Alright. Get at your boy. Alright. I'll talk to y'all later. And y'all have a blessed one. And if you're driving out there, stay safe. Usually I would say everything else, but I think this was something that might touch one of you guys. And if so, give me out. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.